Okay, how's that? Good. And... Yep. That's kind of 
Let's do a quick hover check here before we head out. Alright, looks good. Okay, so when you do, uh, where do you turn at the, after the end of the runway? Yeah, let's just get a little bit higher, and they said proceed as requested. Yeah. Let's just make sure we can request east on turn is what I'd ask them real quick. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Tower helicopter 229, uh, Julian Kilo, request east on turn. Helicopter 9, Julian Kilo approved, and watch for assessment traffic. As you turn eastbound, they'll be north of you, headed to the east side of the airport at 1,500 feet. Uh, Julian Kilo, we'll look for that traffic. Cessna 46407, helicopter traffic north end of the airport. They're turning eastbound, low level, looking for you. Helicopter 9, Julian Kilo, change to 118.3. Julia Kilo, Cessna is 11 o'clock, 2 miles, southbound, 1,700 indicated. Hi, Julia Kilo, look at the traffic and we'll be changing quickly shortly. Cessna 407, the helicopter is down into your right, 1 mile, eastbound at 900. Second 407, thank you. Helicopter 9 and Julia Kilo, roger. The test is now behind into your right, no factor. 9 and Julia Kilo, thank you. Test in 407, helicopter, Wait. no factor. Thank you, 47. November 46407, how long do you plan to be there? Uh, it should just be uh, you hear that start up? Station now. Yeah. It was like really bad, and I twisted open the throttle, and I opened it a little bit much. Rich didn't come over, so I don't know. Like, okay. Well, I, I heard you do that, and I glanced right over at the, the RPM, and yeah. it, it didn't, like, go above 70 or anything. Yeah, that's what I saw, too. So, I think I, I, think I over-primed it. So this one has a nice electronic artificial horizon. Uh huh. I wonder what this thing is. Which thing? This GPS thing, it's oh. like, looks really old, you know? up over that way, right? Is it north of Lake Sammamish? Can you talk really loud, almost yell. Ah. It was, if I'd have to change the headset, I was worried about the mic not working. You just unplug it and then try the other one. Just the 407 traffic departing 32 right for the right downwind departure. Uh, Which no, makes me really right. nervous. I apologize. I think he makes everybody nervous. Oh, Rich? Yeah. Yeah. Helicopter 919 Delta Julia, that's a needle. Looking for a Duomo Charles. This is probably with Hank Helicopter 919 Delta Julia, going to Duomo Charles. Duomo Charles, 919 Delta Julia. Yeah, I see him. Uh, tells you you're dumb all the time, so. Cessna 26 November, as you turn downwind, watch for a Cessna that is circling just east of the airport at 1,400 feet. 26 November, we'll be looking for him. 
Step of 407, traffic's on the upwind, turning crosswind, looking for you. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. What are you trying to do, get the timer to zero? Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't like these kind of timers. They, uh... 26 November, you'll see them as you turn downwind, they're ahead in a left turn at 1400. Okay, 26 November sounds good, I'll uh, turn inside just... They're just inside of you on the downwind over the freeway, maybe a little bit east of the freeway, a lower. Thank you, looking for it, Kevin. It has a fair amount of power. This used to be now in the left turn. 26 November, I have the site. 26 November, roger. Contact Renton Tower, 124.7. 24.7, thank you. Extra, uh, staying out of range there. Roger, they're going to continue that heading. And if we can, we'd like to follow them. We have another shoot about another mile south. 407 approved. Thank you, 407. Check our 491 Boeing Tower, runway 32 left, clear to land. Been on the air for a long time. The, the 
antennas are really big because the frequencies are low and uh, the trees that um, I had them up in are gone now. I don't uh, have any place to put them. So you put the antenna in the tree? Yeah, it's basically, uh, if you think of a kind of a, a long, really long, like 50, 60 foot wire uh -huh. with uh, a conductor oh, from the middle that goes down to where the radio is. Uh -huh. And then that long section goes as high as you could possibly get it. Oh. to guess that you wouldn't want to do try any off-airport landings in this one quite yet. Oh no, we can do it. We just need to burn off fuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're like, we're literally at max pros. <laughs> Even with just one passenger? Uh, yeah, with one passenger, we are, we took off with max pros. That's why I told you to go. <laughs> yeah. What are those? I think oh, hover check was to see if we could, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, hover check was to make sure this thing wasn't going to pass the sail on, because I've never flown it. Right. I wanted to see what we were pulling, and it was fine. But yeah, I think we should do it on the way back, because that's okay with you guys. Actually, I wasn't even planning on one, but yeah. if we find a spot, that would be cool. Well, Bandera, I was going to ask you if you wanted to go to Bandera. What's Bandera? It's like really cool airport. Um, through the pass, we'll see if I can uh, point it out. It should be on the left. Okay. And it should be, I think it's near the dam. It's really cool, I've been there. So maybe like on the way back after we've burned off some fuel, yeah. we can try that? Yeah. Yeah, you can see how full we are. Yeah. I was I was talking to Jonah. I was like, this thing's gutless, man. I looked at, I ran the numbers, and you can't even take it out with 180. Uh, let's say you took four people, 180 pounds each. Yeah. You can't even take it out. Yeah, I think you need like 30% fuel. Or so. It's ridiculous. Or, I can't remember, but you know. 
That's not, you know, this doesn't have... This one, uh, I think that... The uh, R66 is uh, the turbine is like 300 horsepower, and these are, what, 220-ish? No, it's yeah, 270. Oh, 270. Inbound landing to the east, all Same, really. Also, it 
Sorry, a, a traffic balance thing, huh? Yeah. Fall City, Skyline is clearly active, Fall City. So if there's a weight balance app that I got from the Apple App Store, is that the, uh, what is it called, Gyronimo or something? Oh, yeah. That's the one that you were using? No, I used a different one that was free. Gyronimo one's like a buck or whatever. Yeah. Or like five bucks or something. I used the R44 weight and balance. It looks like that. Okay. It should be the same. Yeah, definitely. The Gyronimo is cool, though, because then you can do the performance tab. Right. Oh, there's still a lot of snow up here. Yeah, I know, huh? using a whole lot of manifold pressure. Not really. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is where... Yeah. This is where the two sides split really far apart. Yeah. Gosh, there was like a, a, a couple winters ago, I think. Uh -huh. There was a really nasty accident on that section. Somebody... It was icy and somebody went off the side. Uh-oh. Did they make it? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta get the, the 
have one of those wildlife bridges? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it strikes me that things like cougars and stuff would figure out pretty quickly uh -huh. that that's a good place to hang out yeah, and wait for yeah, dinner to come yeah, by. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. I never thought about that. Well, probably the move is as far as go. No way. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah there is that. I'm sure up this far there's cougars around. Oh, yeah.
Well, there's a lot of places that the auto to uh -huh. there. Yeah. Heck, you can even auto into the between north or I mean between east and westbound. When yeah, I can't remember if it's flat though. That's true. Yeah, because sometimes like it's like yeah. you see the the um the ditch, and then sometimes sometimes it's normal or flat. Oh, it's cloudy over here. If you were to accidentally fly into IMC right now, uh -huh. would you use that to, like, you know, make sure that you're staying level and... Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, technically that's your attitude indicator, but yeah. And or see if you're, you know... Yeah. Picking up or going, yeah. I, I read the NTSB report on uh -huh. the whole, the, the Kobe Bryant thing. Yeah. And apparently the pilot reported he was climbing when he was actually in, uh, you know, the classic left-handed graveyard uh, the spiral. Oh, the graveyard spiral, yeah. Uh, it out to me. Fifty knot headwind through the pass. 
should be uh, pretty close to Ellensburg now. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. That would be like right. You want to put the, oh, you've got it in there already. Oh, yeah. Automated weather observation. Two, one, five, four, Zulu. Wind, two, niner, zero, at zero, eight. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, two, seven, Celsius. Dew point, minus zero, four, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, zero. Remarks, ten to the altitude, three thousand, five hundred. Bowers Field Airport, Ellensburg, Washington. Automated weather observation, two, one, five, four, Zulu. Wind, two, niner, zero, at zero, eight. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, two, niner, so, and the altimeter is three, zero, 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 so should we set that? I didn't catch the error. Oh, okay. What did he say? Well, he said, he said three, zero, zero, zero. Anyway, it was all zeros, however oh. many decimal places it goes. Oh, oh that seems more right though, huh? Yeah. We'll find out when we land. And the uh, wind is at two, nine, or zero, so we would want to land on... Oh, at one one and uh, two niner. Uh huh. Okay, so we want we'd want to head for one one, I think. Two niner, because the wind's out of the oh, oh. Okay. So you yeah. want to win, yeah. I think that's it over there. One, two, three, point out. That should be right off our nose. Oh yeah, you're probably it. So the next frequency is uh, one, two, three, point out. All right, let me put this one or two. Niner, niner, niner. Remarks, density altitude 3,500. Bowers Field Airport, Ellensburg, Washington. So we're like six to the west. Uh huh. Okay. Ellensburg traffic helicopter is three two nine or Juliet Kilo, uh, approximately six to the west inbound for landing. Ellensburg. Oh, there's some of those funky circular irrigation things. Huh. Like, oh, yeah. You know, the big thing that goes around. Yeah. We have those in Pennsylvania. Okay. So the wind is from about that way. Uh -huh. So we want to come around. And it looks, it looks like the other railway's got the... Five miles to the airport, 4,300. And it's nothing in the Bureau Bravo approach. So go left. What? What? I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, either way, we can come in this way now. It doesn't specify. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We don't have that message. It doesn't say yeah. what. Yeah, as long as we make a U. Um, but we do want to get down quite a bit. Yeah. About uh, 20, 2500, really. Down like a left downwind. Helicopter, helicopter 329 or Juliet Kilo, uh, left downwind, uh, 29 Helper. But it almost looks like, you know, in the movies, uh -huh. but when, uh, when an airplane and something's going wrong, you see it. Oh, I know, yeah, we're, we're coming down, yeah, like an airplane. Go, 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 go. Like, it throws you off a little bit. Makes you feel like you're lower, you know? Over to the 524, Charlie Whiskey, close to VOR. 1300 descending, circle the last, yeah, over. Yeah, factor? Uh, 12,000. I don't think so. Balance for traffic helicopter 329 or Julia Kilo, final 29 or rail We're still like, alright, yeah. We'll make it a steeper. Yeah, we'll make it a steeper road, exactly. Uh, this thing's so big. It's Okay, where do you want to go to get off the runway? Uh, this way, yeah. That's the only way to get off here. Traffic helicopter 329 or Julia Kilo clear the active. I'm not really sure where I'm going or what I'm doing. <laughs> no, we'll just head this way. I don't I don't know if there's any restaurants here. So no. I don't know if there's any restaurants here. What did you want to do? Um Well, if Angie had come with us, we were going to plan to have lunch here, but um, I don't know, I I was just thinking about getting here would be cool, yeah. and once I'm here, it's like, well, I don't know. But if we're going to um, 
try a couple of those little... Uh, Thank you, Porch, on the Whiskey, final 029, full stop, over. One of those little guys, yeah. uh, on the way back. Uh-huh. Um, I'd, I'd be fine with just uh, picking up out again. Do you guys want to shut down and take a photo? Oh, dusty. Yeah. And uh, we could find some transit parking and just shut down. Oh. oh. Dusty, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we could try that. Okay. So let's uh, let's keep heading this way. It looks like there's some transit parking over here. Try and start it next time? Yeah, yeah. Since Rich it'll be easier when it's hot. Yeah, it'll be easier. Rich, he's just, he's, um, unpredictable. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Rich? Yeah. Yeah. 
What's the outside air temp? Ooh, 27 degrees. What is that? That's got to be hot. 81? Feels yeah. hot. That'll probably take a bit for yeah, a while yeah. to get the temperature down. I'll just check the weather and I'm I wonder if there's a reporting state in the past. There's got to be. Oh, you know the, the Willie Bird show, the old show? Yeah. I was watching a couple episodes. Uh huh. And more than one occasion, you see the helicopter coming down to set down, and he's still like 10 feet up. and. You know, the, the sounds of, like, you know, going down to 70%, uh, rotor spinning down before you touch it. Oh, man! <laughs> wow, they did used to do some crazy, I mean, like, a lot of people died, too, you know, back in the early days of helicopters. Oh, yeah. They just died, you know, like, oh, yeah, this is a cool thing, and I can afford it, and, and people just killed themselves all the time. That part is a as far. Home for Charlie 547, Charlie Whiskey is three miles to the south of the airport, 2,800 descending to the gravel pits in Helensburg. One half area, traffic horizon 2480 calling. Aircraft 832 Hotel. A weird call? November 832 Hotel from Horizon 2480. Blocked. Almost there. November 832 Hotel, Horizon 2480 on 123.0. Archer 546, Charlie is about 15 miles west of the Elmsford Airport, 7,600 descending, planning the Aura Bravo approach. Full procedure, Elmsford. But you mean by the Aura Bravo? It's a type of instrument approach. Okay. The uh, Aura Bravo, uh, when it's a when it's a letter, it usually indicates. Um, for traffic, 547, like Whiskey entering offset from, from the runway. To the downwind runway 29er, Helmsburg. November 832 Hotel from Horizon 2480 on 123.0. Okay, it looks like I would say we're below. Yep, we're in the age. All right. So. Oh, this one keeps. What's that? Keeps ticking. Oh, yeah.
Okay. I wasn't counting, but I think ah, you're probably. probably. Unfortunately, you have to pay for it because I forgot my uh, my car, so I can Venmo you. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm I'm quite understanding. Oh, sorry, I broke out. We can fuel up now if you want and have plenty of time to like do off airports and stuff. Um, you know, if we have enough to get back, that let's us let's just do that. And okay. if uh. If it looks like we have enough to hit one of those little, uh, little airports, and if not, then we'll just... All right, run. cool. Sounds like a plan. Okay, clutch out. Check, check. All right. It's a lot easier. I know. I don't know if the spray clutch just needs some grease or something on DJ. 
Okay, I think we're uh, completely barbed up here. All right, and my iPad's freaking out. It's too hot, is what it's saying. Our friction's off. Sorry about that. That's all right. I see what you mean. Uh, when we go back and forward, it's like bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait for this person to taxi through. Do you mind if I just get the winds before we go? Oh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, correction, what's up? Yeah, 
Niner was for traffic. We have that upwind traffic inside for two Niner helicopter. Niner, Julie Kilo. Oh, I hate that. Gotta <laughs> get used to it. I know. Hey, Kilo. Wait. I wonder if this is like old military parking or something. Yeah, I don't know. It looks yeah. like it looks like it's. Oh, didn't really do anything. Julia, Kilo, where are you guys headed today? Uh, do you want me to get this? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, sure. Oh, it's for traffic helicopter. Niner, Julia, Kilo, we're just departing to the west. All right, I just came from the west. I'll just give you a heads up. There was a little bumpy below 6,000 feet, so you might want to go higher if you can. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Do you know what the uh, winds are like in uh, the past? Uh, it wasn't too bad. It was, uh, we were up at 9,000 feet and it was like a 14 knot uh, tailwind. Uh, Roger, thanks for the heads up. So, what did he say about wanting to go up? Uh, he, he said that there's, it's uh, bumpy. It was a 14 knot tailwind oh, okay. from uh, west to east. Helicopter 9 is Julia Keeler. Cool, thanks for the help. Nice of them. Showing our our heading instead of our uh, instead of uh, ground speed. I don't know, I wonder if I. Oh, 
Uh, usually it's like in the menu or something. It's in it's in here somewhere. Do you want to try messing around with it at all? Uh, yeah, you want to take the controls? Oh, right, yeah, that? yeah. I have the controls. That's the controls? I have the controls. Okay. It's usually like a check in the menu. Yeah. It'll be like airspeed or something. Yeah, as long as we have the data tab 
yeah. the rest pulled out. Fine, yeah. All right, cool. All right. You have the controls? I have the controls. Yeah, the controls. Well, I guess we'll make that work then. Oh, it's got about a 20 knot headwind then. Over traffic, r 521 Charlie Whiskey is 3 miles to the east of the VOR, 5,000 to Sunny Bureau Bravo. One of those uh, pilots that hovers next to a power line, oh. the live power lines, and the guy goes out and uh, you know works on the line while while you're hovering. Well, she's more brave than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And we've already 
estimate we're, we're less than halfway. I mean, more than, whichever, more than halfway. Uh-huh. So we ought to be all right. Yeah, we ought to be good to get that, yeah. I just want to see in the, um, because I have a pretty stiff headwind through the even path. Yeah. Like the path itself, because right now we've got a, a 20 knot headwind. So it might be good just to beeline it back. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, just in case. I don't want to, I don't want to get stressed out. I don't get paid enough. <laughs> well, there's no reason to roll the dice. There's yeah. no reason to get stressed out. We can always come back up with, like, um... And just plan on refueling. Yeah, or get, just come up to Bandera and do some approaches and head back. Yeah, yeah, that too. So do you think that a 22 could do this? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. On a, like, zero, zero at my egg, I, I don't know. That thing's a freaking hog. You and I were playing, like, Yeah, I know about Julia and Mike. Yeah, yeah, on a, on a clear day, you definitely have to, like, run the numbers. Uh, uh keep letting the airspeed creep up. Yeah. We could pop up to 5,000 and see if it gets better. Well, I got plenty of manifold pressure to do yeah. it. Now, you would think I have, but maybe not. Because what's the, what's the uh, air pressure up? In other, in other words, 23 inches might be... Oh, yeah. So we're, yeah. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're probably right. So we're up at 4,000. Outside air temperature. That's 20, so it's actually only 21. So that's all you can get. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not necessarily bad for the engine, but it's... Well, you're, oh, yeah, you're basically running... You're just burning... Um, putting too much stress on the engine, it's going to burn out quicker. It's not going to last the full 2,200 hours. Well, to get 22 inches, the throttle is open further. Uh, sorry, what was that? Um, to, to get uh, 22 inches of manifold pressure, the throttle is open wider up here than it would be at level. Right, yep. It's a little bit smoother. It does, doesn't it? What's our, what's our headwind? 80. That's a cut down to a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. So yeah, maybe keep it up here. Maybe see if uh, if 5,000 is a little bit better. Yeah, and that's all you're going to get, so. Yeah. Well, in that case, I'll just trade a little bit of airspeed for some altitude. Elijah would always, uh, like on the way to Auburn, he, you know how he would always give me pop quizzes. Oh, yeah? Um, a few times he said, okay, uh, bring me, uh, you know, 200 feet higher and you can't touch the collective. Ooh, I should start doing that, huh? That's a good one.
Uh, it's a, a little smoother up here. A little bit, yeah. Let's do it here. All right. Have to just keep an eye on that ground speed, though. Holding up pretty good in 77, 78.
What are you guys gonna do after this? Um, well, my son told me to stop by the store and find a leg of lamb so that oh. we can marinate it overnight. Oh. So I'll get my uh, birthday dinner tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Oops, should have bought it yesterday. Yeah. But I think I mentioned this to you before. Neither my, my wife nor I, we, we, don't, we just don't cook. Oh, no, I didn't know that. And uh, my son, however, and, and his wife are both, uh, number one, they're really good cooks, and number two, they like doing it, so. Oh, good. Does he eat out a lot? Um, not a whole lot. Uh, well, I guess, all right. Yeah, door, if, if you count DoorDash as eating out, then yes. Yeah. Uh, 
And then we stopped. Uh-huh. To take a break. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's really cold here. I know, I'm surprised the sweat didn't freeze your arm and stuff. Yeah. It is like rowing. Do you use every single motor? What's that? It is like rowing. Do you use every single Oh, yeah, yeah. I would like that then. Yeah, because you're using your arms a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so part of it is your legs, the other part is you are pushing with your arms. With your arms. Maybe you should get some cross country skis this, um, um, this summer. Sorry, because they're probably cheap now, huh? Probably, yeah. yeah. Because I think that the Alpine Pass is like way cheaper than the Slope Pass. Oh, I'm sure it yeah. does. Because you're only riding it once. Right. Well, our headwind's down to about 10 knots now. I know, not bad. We still have like... A third? Yeah, it'll probably be... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it'll be like uh, 50% longer on the way back, so... That's a good uh, off-airport spot. Yeah, it is. Come down quite a bit. I mean, uh, we're still 1,250 AGL and, and we're below 3,000. Oh, yeah. Have you heard from Elijah recently? Well, the last time, uh, <laughs> after uh, you chased the car. Oh yeah, that's right! I, I picked it then, because yeah. I had to see what his reaction I, I think I forwarded you at the... Uh, oh, I don't remember time. what he said. Oh. I gotta... I think he's still furloughed. Last yeah, I talked to him. Yeah, that must suck, you know, just like a couple years into your new career and then the rug gets pulled out like that. I would be so depressed. I really would be. Uh, I mean, it's been pretty hard. Uh, even, you know, getting less hours, let alone no hours. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to kind of be out of here in a year, and it's been almost two. <clears throat> so. Well, it probably would have been right about a year if, uh, if uh, COVID hadn't come along. Yeah. Well, you know how it is here. Rachel leased out of helicopter and then we have, we're have we duking it out for 144, like six pilots. And then, yeah. If it's not one thing, you know, it's, you know. It just seems that Rich doesn't have the, the flight school slash tour portion as much of a priority. I don't think it is. I think it's a maintenance job that happens to make money with the, the floor thing. Tour. Okay. Oh, I never really can't I never notice how much it opens up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you could like beeline it straight. I could beeline it straight, yeah. straight above yeah. this. Yeah.
That's kind of cool. A little, uh, or... What is it? It looked, it looked like it was a little farm or something, but I don't think so. More like a... Maybe it's part of this gravel pit thing. Oh, yeah, maybe. Forest roads, isn't it? Oh. New deciduous, that's cool. Lake Washington traffic, helicopter 900, Delta Julia. Northbound, Madonna, Center Line 900, Lake Washington. That's Jonah? That was Billy. Billy. It is Billy Poste. You should congratulate him if you have time. He got an, a job at Papillon. Oh, That's where Elijah. Elijah. That's where Elijah went. Yeah, but he's at South Rim. Elijah's in Vegas. Oh, South Rim. Yeah. Okay. Um, Billy will be in South Rim, yeah. And I think it was like a friend of a friend that got him the job, so it was like an insider spiel. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the way to do it if you can. Yeah, I know. Yeah, unfortunately, we'll probably have to beeline it back. Yeah, that's fine. You have to be careful with the, uh, the helicopters, too. Uh, Jonah, um... He flew a new helicopter back from the, the factory. Yeah. And it, I, I don't know, he, he's saying something about the way it sat, but the fuel, the last half tank, it just burned up super quick. It was just burning fuel. Yeah, yeah he got a low fuel light. Well, we're back at Mount Sai. Lake Washington traffic, helicopter 9 Delta Julius over downtown Kirkland, north, northeast bound, 1000 Lake Washington. So now we've only got about a 10 knot headwind. Yeah. So do you actually get up on the haystack? Uh, it was cloudy, so I, I think I was on there. I mean, I didn't have a view. It was like cloud. Well, I mean, like, that's the highest. I think so, yeah. Go. Yeah, you can get up there, yeah. <laughs> so disappointed. It kind of kicked my butt, too. It was a hard hike. Is that, I've never done it. It's hard. It's like 3,000 foot gain or something. Uh, in what distance? Uh, I think three miles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's six miles round trip. I'll have to look it up. It's not a long hike. It's just steep. It's really steep. Yeah. What's that? And I never did this one either, but there's, uh, it's called, I think, Asgard Pass. Oh, I've done Asgard, well, I haven't done the pass. I've gone up to Asgard, yeah. That's, yeah, that's supposed to be, like, really, really steep. Yeah. Um, oh, 
several thousand feet gain. Yeah, yeah. Mile or something. Yeah. You basically have to scramble up it. Because it's big boulders. Like a talus slope. What's that? A talus slope. I don't know what that is. Like big, like, uh, oh, big rocks. Yeah, like boulders. Oh, okay. So it looks like, like somebody took, like, uh, took the mountain and then just spewed all the boulders out. And then the lake is at the bottom, so you have to, like, and you can totally cut the corner if you want. That's true. Yeah. I don't I think we're about out of, uh, uh, we maybe have a five knot headwind. Oh yeah? That feels a port almost. We should be good though. Like one, two, driver, two, one, take, we get over to the eastbound climb. Should be good, but definitely want to head back because we're we might land with men for minimum fuel. Yep. I think I was traumatized as a child. My my stepmom ran out of gas all the time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I like I don't know what it is. I'm like really worried about fuel. Are you worried about fuel like I'm worried about wires? I think so, yeah. I'm just like, okay, we need to get back. <laughs> I don't want to... Um, yeah, we ran, we ran out of fuel once on the way to Orthodontist. <laughs> it was like, I can remember it clear as day, yeah. Yeah, but going to the Orthodontist sucks anyway. It did suck. Fortunately, I never had to. Oh, you're lucky. My brother, man, he got cavities and braces oh, and all kinds he? of stuff. To this day, I've never had a cavity. Oh, nice. Let's pop it down. We're like super high. Let's get down to uh, 1,500. any problems. The other one cracked. Oh, yikes.
Dispatch, check when it went up. Oh, 610, we're good. Okay. Ball five, so we might we might have to call them early. Uh, what's the TFR on? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's what? Oh, it said something not available. Oh, the GPS talking us. Oh. That's 13 Mobile Park. Traffic, helicopter 9 Delta Julia, 3 to the south, we're northeast bound, 1,200, first air. Alright, do you mind if I get Aedis now? Yeah, go for it. Alright. Helicopter 329er Juliet Kilo, westbound over uh, lake, the south end of the lake, uh, 1,500 feet, Lake Spamish. All right. Is that you, Nate? Oh. Uh huh? It's Anna. <laughs> what? Okay. Hey, Billy! That's Billy! Oh, okay. Traffic, Reaver, 
Quiet, huh? Yeah, nothing much going on there. Buntar helicopter 329er Juliet Kilo uh, near the Space Needle to Amish arrival for spot 8 with Victor. Helicopter 329er Juliet Kilo Buntar to Amish arrival approved. 329er Juliet Kilo to Amish arrival approved. Helicopter 29er Juliet Kilo idea of a folk plane traffic might be landing in a key in there. About a mile north of you, you're not talking to them. 1000 indicated. Niner Julia Kilo, uh, we will be looking for that traffic. Folding tower, system 24766, holding short 32 right for remaining the pattern. Number 24766, Bowling Tower, Roger, hold position. Holding short, uh, 476. I forgot what the winds were done. Kilo, we 
Cherokee, 4404, two minute ball and tower right, traffic 3 to right. Fire 6 Lima Foxtrot, no need to acknowledge, you might see low level helicopter landing west side taxiway, currently a B in the tower, off your left. So, where was it that you, uh... Yeah, so if you pitch it back here, start descending, we're going to shoot for the... Oh, the yeah, right yeah. And, like, pitch it way back to that Pilatus. Give me a 70 knot. I want to slow down. And then we'll overfly this parking lot. Right here, and then hit in for the down one. Yeah. So, kind of want to be, like, at 300 feet by the yeah. wires, basically. Runway 32 right, clear for option. Right about there. Yeah, yeah. So that when we turn final, we're not like you got your jumping in. Bowling tower, you're ready? Bowling tower, so that, so here we're still over at asphalt. 11 ready for departure. Uh, six beam of fog chart right off of Niner, taxi mod and D alpha, remain this frequency. I'm a Niner, uh, the mod with you, six beam of fog chart. 799, Boeing Tower, wind 31010, runway 32 left at off 11, clear for takeoff. 32 left off 11, clear for takeoff, is that 799? Helicopter, not as you are, Boeing Tower, at two, departure will be at your own risk, uh, stadium approved, wind 31011, traffic is a Cherokee over uh, the downtown inbound. Traffic, another. Uh, what? Oh, the Cherokee GPS is talking to us. Traffic departing now will be towards downtown, low level helicopter. Let's, uh, let's keep it straight here, we don't want to hit that, uh, do you see that? Boeing Tower, yeah. 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 We'll enter from right here. Wind 31011. Number 766, caution wake to list, 800, departing 32 left. Bit of a side wind. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Nice and wide, stay on with me. Okay. So we're getting nailed by a, a kind of a side wind here. Now. There you go, you got it. Give me a left 180. Yep. Exactly, 799, helicopter traffic ahead to your right, no factor, north, uh, westbound there to be east of sound line. Yeah. You might see traffic, uh, east of sound line also inbound for the right downwind about five miles north, east of you, Cherokee. 1,300 indicated, contact the departure, safe flight. Good day. Yeah. Hey, Sound let's go ahead and send it. I'm going to send you up here. All right. Hey, I'm with the, it's, it's just gusty. Eyes out front. There we go. All right. It's got it. It's more than than ten for sure. You can see the the flag there. It's just. You have a direct nine, Turkey, nine o'clock wind. Uh, Julia, that helicopter traffic is just uh, twelve o'clock, three miles, six hundred. Right. I get it. Are on. All right. That's uh, 766. Uh, you're in front of a Cherokee about five miles northwest of the field. Only right cross one to join the right down 118. I wonder. I gotta figure that out. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know, down. Just download the. I'm whatever the model number is. Go online and. I know. Yeah. Get the manual. For That's. I mean, otherwise you're fumbling around I looking know. at menus and. Uh, does it even have a name on it? An Avidine? Avidine? I F Delta uh, India Foxtrot Delta 410. That's what it says right next to the knob, so it's got to be like a model number or something. 
there a, a control for the sensitivity of the box? The voice activated? There is, but I, I don't know how to use these. I need to figure it out. The squelch is right here. Check, check, check. But it always, I don't know. Yeah, oh, because it's... Check, 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 check. It's like if the sensitivity for my voice was just a little bit higher. I know. You know, almost have to... Well, you don't have to shout, but you have to be loud. Squelch. Squelch. Check, 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 check. Check. No, that's the volume. Hello, check. hello. Bye. Yeah. Oh, okay, so squelch, squelch, squelch. Okay, that, that would be better. Right there. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can talk in a normal voice now. I know. Instead of yelling. Well, so how do you like this one, this, yeah. this ship? It's okay. You know, I think the controls, I mean, you flew most of the time. <laughs> That's true, I did. Yeah. Uh, I don't like how it has absolutely no, you know, it has power, but like, if you keep it under max gross, you can't bring anything. Yeah, forward. right, right. Like, if you end up doing tours in it, you're gonna have to pick and choose which tour groups get to go in it. Oh yeah, no, I don't think we're allowed to do tours, which is silly, but that's business. Oh, I... 
Only the first year. Yeah, yeah. Then after, after a while, that, you, you end up seeing inside of the hotel and the bus and all of that stuff. Yeah, what are you doing after you get to uh, Oh, it was... 